Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It's the 11th of April, 2016. I'm Arash D. Bazaar. Let's do a quick video blog. Uh, when you were younger, and uh, when every child is young, they have a sense of adventure. You want to get out there and you want to explore things. You want to try new things. Uh, the sense of fear is very minimal. Okay, now that is something that is not super healthy because the child's also stupid. In fact, uh, I think that if you buy this new age bullshit, uh, everyone, you know, you want to try to be just like children. Children, you don't want to be children. Children are some of the dumbest idiots you, I've ever met in my fucking life. They can't make one good decision out of another goddamn good decision. They're psycho. Okay, have you ever seen a fucking child try to make a decision? Terrible. They'll eat bugs, they'll jump in the street, mm -hmm. they'll put their finger in the light socket. So you don't want to be a child. However, you want to keep your sense of adventure and innocence. This is what you want. Okay, and now here's why I'm talking to you right now. Because I want you to look at your day. I want you to look at your day. And I want you to tell me if there was any moments in your day where you were pushed out of your comfort zone slightly. Was there any moments where you had to step out and, and become greater? Was there any moments where you had to face life and see what you're made of? Or was it just a monotone bullshit that it always is? And then you went home and you got in a fight with your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, and wife. Because that is the fucking adventure you have these days, right? You go home and you complain to each other. Oh, you know, get kids and you never this and you never that. You are fucking dumb for doing that, okay? Let me tell you what you need. You need to gain your sense of adventure once again. What do I mean by that? Well, let's think about it. In your day, what you want to do is you want to ask yourself, how do I expand somehow? How do I become more? Let me give you some examples. One, let's say in your, um, in your business or work, whatever the fuck it is, you don't want to do the same shit you did yesterday and then do it again the next day and the next day. What you need to do is figure out a way to expand your communication lines, talk to more people, or take your existing clients and push them to the next level, right? If the, if, let's say if someone's training at the uh, fitness center and they're, they're a regular student, the next level is you do private training. Someone's already doing private training, then you do nutrition and private training. You're already doing that, you think about, man, how do I get more involved, become an instructor? All of these things expand your world and your day, you come to life, right? You come to life instead of like uh, just the same monotone bullshit. What about your relationships? It's the same exact thing in your fucking relationships, okay? Think about it. When you meet the other person in your relationships, man, woman, 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 whatever the fuck you guys got going on right now, okay? I want you to think about it. One of the things that we do is we travel between three to four weeks out of a month. Now, this is what we're going to do, right? And, and you can't travel and have the same experience, even if you travel to the same place. You, it's just, it's different. It's a whole thing that happens, right? That is an important ingredient. Also, we every night hang out and talk. That was the last time you spoke to your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, and wife. Like actually spoke, like exchanged ideas, said where you were, said how the day was, and found out how you could coordinate your family better. Probably haven't done it in a long time, and that's why you're miserable also. Because a relationship requires communication back and forth. And you got to find out what the person went through. Some of you don't see each other all day. And then you come back and you still don't see each other. You know why? Because you don't want to see each other. Right? Because you're in a shitty relationship. Right? I am not. So remember all those times when all the sheep judged me? My turn to judge you. Your relationship sucks. And my relationships are great. My women are fulfilled. I'm fulfilled more than any man you know. And they're more fulfilled than any woman you know. Your relationship sucks. It's time for you to get it right. Do you understand the difference now? Get some fucking communication. Get some purpose. Get some passion. Get some energy. Get some drive in your fucking life. Because if you don't have that, you also don't have that while you have sex. You can't lie to me because I know shit. I know shit. This is what I do. It's just my turn to let you know that I know what's up. In your business, in your relationships, what about your physical? What about your physical health, right? Let me tell you something. For the next three days, I will not be eating... Well, I will be eating very little carbs. No carbohydrates? Guess who's very much not excited about that? Me. Okay, Tuesday and Wednesday and motherfucking Thursday, I will be eating many things except carbohydrates. I already know what the fuck that's going to do to me. Basically, I'll be hungry all fucking day and moody. And I'm already hungry and moody all day, so I can't imagine I'll be on my period now. Good. But you know why I have to do that? Because I have to shock my body. I have to fix it. 
I have to change it. I have to make it go, hey, what the fuck's going on here? I thought we're supposed to do this so that some of the fat can leave. And then I'll bring it back, right? Same thing in your, in your workout, same thing in your diet. What are you doing? Are you doing the same shit every single day? Well, it's better than doing nothing, but you know what? That's like saying because you're in a relationship, it's better than not being in a relationship. I myself don't like average. I don't want to live a shitty, miserable life like 99% of you. What I want to do is live a fantastic life. So guess what? I have to step out of the box all the time and switch shit up left and right. You need to do the same thing. Now, it might sound like, oh, gosh, why are you being so harsh? Why are you talking down to us? I'm not talking down to you, actually. But if you had a teacher or a coach who never fucking came down on you and told you the way it is, then you didn't have a real coach or a real teacher. In my entire career in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, as a uh, student of white to black, it took me 11 and a half years, I can count the number of times my beautiful, incredible instructor complimented me. Four. I consider maybe five, because one time he said, you didn't do too bad today. And I thought, that's pretty fucking good. You know the rest of the time he spent telling me? that I was no good, that I didn't know what the fuck I was doing, what is wrong with me, I need to get it together, my technique's worse than a white belt, my hips don't fucking move, I need to train harder, it doesn't matter if my fingers broke, I can go on and on and on, thank you, Batata, Sandra Batata, shout out to you, I owe you my life, sir, thank you for being the great mentor and teacher that you were, now I understand why, and this is why I can face any man on the fucking mats, I don't care how big he is, I don't care what he's got, because I know what the fuck he put me through, and you know what, win or lose, I will fuck you up, and I know this shit. That's a good coach. What do you want? You want someone to fucking pet you the whole time? It's okay. You're going to do it. It's okay. Oh, that's a good try. You don't need to push yourself. You don't need to push yourself. Why don't we be safe for a little bit? Let's look at your Facebooks and see how safe your Facebooks were today. Sometimes you take uh, that big step, and you're like, you know what? I'm going to really go for this thing. So you take a meme that fucking 80% of the people have shared, and you're like, sheep don't lose, I mean, lion don't lose opinion over sheep, uh, opinion over sheep, whatever, you know what the fuck I'm talking about, because you've used it before, okay? And that is your sense of adventure, but God forbid you actually speak your truth, God forbid you say, I'm actually going to say how I feel, because why? Somebody in your family might tell you, shut up, even though you're an adult, right? Even though you're an adult, you may have forgotten about that. Somebody in your family might tell you, shut up. Some of your friends, they'll attack you. But you know what? I can get on my Facebook right now and say, fuck the world and fuck you. And you know what's going to happen? A bunch of likes, a bunch of shares, a bunch of hearts, and a bunch of you're the fucking man. Because I am. Because I've been telling the truth for a long time. Okay? This is the idea of this video blog. A big part of the reason why you're miserable is you're living the same boring ass life every fucking day. Now, if you look at my life, it's scheduled exactly. I, you ask me what time tomorrow, you pick a, a time, 1.30, I'll know exactly where I'm at, what I'm doing. 7 p.m., I know exactly what I'm at, what I'm doing. 6.20, I know where I'm at, what I'm doing. So it looks like routine, and it is. I like discipline. However, during those times, I'm awake, I'm alive, and I'm pushing myself, and I'm pushing the people around me. Did you know that IMC Women's Fitness Center is the number one women's fitness center in the entire world? In your little blue planet Earth, we are number one, and have been number one, and stay number one. Do you know how many people have tried to copy my business model? Too many to count. Do you know how many have failed? Every single one of them. I push my girls. They push their students. And this will continue forever. Do you understand that? So unless you can push harder than me, mm, good luck. It ain't going to happen. Okay? And most likely, your women are arguing with you. Mm. <laughs> you must both be very happy about that. Okay? Let's move on and wrap this thing up. Arash, well, your energy is a little aggressive today. Yes, it is very aggressive today, actually, because somebody needs to wake you up. Don't you think? Don't you think? You need to wake up. Aren't you, aren't you tired? I put some texts on online for you to see, right? Some stupid hoes think they can talk to me a certain way because they talk to other weak men like that and other weak men let them get away with that shit. You can't get away with that shit with me. And what happens every fucking time to these hoes, they run right back and you see the goddamn text. And that's only a fraction of what I show you. You should see me, you should see them throw me their asses, their vaginas, their tits and tell me that they want to fuck me more than anything else. Wouldn't that be great if you had those texts? Honey, turn off, turn this off. He's fucking up, he's fucking up our, our lives. Turn this off, okay? You're, 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 I own your balls. Nobody tends to text like that. Great, be miserable together. Not a fucking problem. Maybe it's time to wake up. Yeah? Maybe it's time you stop judging people like me and you start judging people like you. Hmm? Maybe it's time you learn something. 
So if you're one of my students who's been doing your shit, hey, you know, you're loving this video blog because you want to say this to other people. I'm saying it for you. If you're brand new, welcome to hearing my video blog. Go to fucking YouTube and check out the other 4,000. And if you're a hater, you're burning right now. Good, I got more for you, you son of a bitch. IMC Nation, be the best, fuck the rest.